Hi guys, Ivan here with GuitarMessenger.com. We are at NAMM 2014 at the Comparison booth and our friend Jeff is going to tell us a little bit about Comparison and uh, fill us in on what's going on with you guys. Okay then, hello everyone. Um, okay, this year we've got some brand new models to, uh, to show everyone. If I can take you here. These are the new custom line CL14s, TAT specials. Um, these are going to be made in very, very small batches, maybe as little as 30. So this one uh, has a 5A flame label top. It's uh, a through neck. So this is uh, mahogany, maple, and uh, walnut. Uh, ebony fretboard, uh, our own pickups. Um, it's got a very interesting four-way switch in when you're in the middle position. So you've got all sorts of call taps and all that sort of stuff going on. You don't see that kind of switch very often on, on guitars. It's no, more. It's, it's, it uh, reminds it's, me more of a, like a pedal switch. It's kind of cool. Yeah, exactly. It's it's it's, an, it's another sort of quirky trait of Ataro's uh, genius, really. You know, it's uh, it, it, yeah, it's what makes them stand out a little bit from other guitars. For sure. Uh, also on this one, which is quite unusual, is we've gone from the gloss finish, which phased into uh, a wax finish on that, which is very nice. Indeed. <laughs> uh, we also have, if you follow me here. Uh, our new seven-string Angelus. Uh, this particular one is a M3 construction. So you've got maple down the middle, mahogany either side, and a maple cap. Uh, seven strings through body stringing. Uh, ebony again. You've got the yin yang inlays running all the way up there. Again, black and white. These are brand new for this year. Again, which we're very happy with. Uh, and if you follow me, this is the brand new uh, Michael J. Romeo. Uh, again, new for this year, a little bit different to the previous models. Uh, now comes with a gloss finish, uh, a brand new profile neck, which is absolutely beautiful. And again, this is an M3 construction, so we've got maple, mahogany either side. Um, How would you describe the neck profile on this? It, it's, it's a combination of a, of a few different profiles. It basically feels like an old, comfortable guitar. Uh, I had a gentleman try it earlier, and uh, he's got 67 Telecaster. And straight away he said, this feels like, like a classic old guitar. So it's, it's a modern, fast profile, but it just feels worn in and, and old and well played. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's, it's, a, it's a quite unique, it's a very soft profile, it's, it's very unique. Um, Joel Strotzel, uh, again kill switch engage. This is the, the same as uh, last year, but we've upgraded it now to a 5A top. The new seven string Dellingers with the uh, Floyd Royce tremolo system on there. Uh, again, very powerful. This has also got upgraded five way shallot mega switches on there. So, again, various call tapping options, etc., etc., etc. Uh, these are new for this year. Again, sponge colours that are hand applied by uh, by Ataru. All comparison guitars are hand finished. All the necks are hand finished. Everything is hand assembled, and there's, there's an absolute meticulous detail which goes into making one of these, which is why they're made in such small batches in Japan. Um, the other ones that I could uh, interest you, gentlemen, are over here. These are the new C2s uh, that we brought out again for this year. Um, Japanese built but made in larger quantities, still to the same exacting standards, but made in larger quantities, uh, so we can bring the prices down a little, make it a little more affordable for people. If, if people want to get into the whole comparison experience, then this is a great way of getting into, into that. They're still fantastic guitars, very unique. It looks, looks like the price range is around 1500 for these, whereas the other ones are, they're, they're really varying around, yeah, up to, up to three, 4,000, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the new ones, uh, you're looking at 4,500. Uh, two and a half, you know, so, so they are expensive guitars, but they are, you know, boutique in nature. Of course. So these are, are, are a more affordable version of that. And we also do, at the moment, our only bass, which is the C2. Uh, at the moment, um... Is this the one you're playing? Uh, I've actually got a custom one built myself, for, for myself. But this, uh, this is the only bass that we're doing at the moment. There will be a new one next year. Uh, Michael LaPond is playing with us at the moment. Uh, and again, very, very proud of them. And uh, everything's going very well. We're very happy. If you, get, if you get the chance to try one, please do. You would be more than welcome. Awesome. Cool. Well, pleasure. Jeff, thanks for showing us around. 
Comparison, Nam 2014. Thanks for watching.